raising Igbo children abroad is, it can be quite expensive. Is there any way we can get a rebate on how much we spend on trying for our children to remain Igbo while living abroad? Because I don't get it. We go to regular grocery stores, right? And we buy our regular groceries. And you drive back down to an African store to go buy things for soup or stew or something, gari and the rest of them. So that means we are buying times two of what, like the regular, let's say Caucasians, they buy. Throw on that we still buy spice and all that. And we still have them send us spice from back home. It's very expensive. Because at the end of the day, you, you are trying to improve on your children's palate for them to get accustomed to, you know, like the native soup. In my own case, I make them know, um, I make them eat every other thing from Egusi to Obono to Oha to Ewedu. I'm still going that. Then they eat like the pepper stew, you know, like the Yoruba um, spicy stew. And we still have our regular stew, right? Like the Igbo stew, we still have all that. I make them eat a bacha. I make them, I make zobo. Like I what I make them watch me make zobo. I make them watch me do okra soup. So these are things that I I want them to know, right? These things are expensive because if I was trying to be like a regular regular you know mom, I could just buy regular food, regular groceries from a grocery store and give them. But I do that and I still go to African store to buy these things. It's very expensive. It's very expensive being. Nigerian abroad, especially not just Nigerian, Nigerian in every way. You know, the food, the outfits, and all. Am I the only one that has thought about it and this is affecting them? Please, just let me know. It's expensive. It's, they should, like, we should ask the government to give us a small rebates just to maintain the culture. Maybe beside the complainer, just the talk.